May I offer you something to drink? Um, no, thank you. Oh, all right. Anyway, Daphne? Uh, perhaps an Orangina. Oh, all right, maybe I'll join you. Funny thing about Orangina. I never buy Orangina at home, but whenever I'm in a hotel and there's a mini bar, it's the first thing I go for. Orangina. <laughs> Anyway, I was uh, just talking to Fraser about a conversation you two had. Oh, dear. No, no, don't get upset. I specifically asked him not to say anything. What was he thinking? No, I'm, I'm glad he told me. Oh, yes, so we can have a big talk about it. That's what you psychiatrists always do, drag everything out in the open so we can work through it, no matter how awkward it might be. Well, I just don't see the no, point. Daphne, I'm glad he told me, because I love you. Excuse me. Uh, Dad? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were in here with Frazier. The boys are playing a game called William Tell with the seltzer holes. And... <laughs> uh, oh, well, uh, anyway, uh, why don't you two just go on doing whatever you were doing, and I'll just, uh, I'll be down in the lobby by the fireplace. Dr. Crane, you shouldn't say such things. It's the truth. Lord knows I have tried to deny it. Tried to pretend that I'm over you. But not a day has gone by when I haven't thought of you. Your smile, your beautiful eyes, what it would be like to hold your hands and ask you the question I never dared ask. What's the difference between a blister and a boil? <laughs> Donnie! God, I took my shoe off. It was like I was growing another ankle bone down here. You know? <laughs> Doc, you went to med school. What am I supposed to do with this lancet or something? Uh, I, you know, as I recall, oh, the, uh, the best thing for that would be yeah. to soak it in tepid water for, tepid. for at least half an hour. All right. Okay, yeah. what luck. Huh? Can you imagine a worse thing to have happened to me the night before my wedding? <laughs> oh. I don't understand. How come you never said anything before? I wanted to. I, I just... The timing never seemed right. Oh, and the timing's right now? I'm 12 hours from the altar and you're on your honeymoon. I would never have gotten married if I thought there was the slightest chance that you shared my feelings. Trust me, Daphne, say the word and I will leave Mel in a heartbeat. Miles? Darling. <laughs> I, I was just looking over these brochures for our honeymoon. Hi, Daphne. Um, now, the Daniele has a stuffed down tub, but the Greedy has the most romantic view of the Grand Canal. What do you think? I think a woman with your exquisite taste can handle this decision. <laughs> oh. He says that now. Wait till the honeymoon's over. Uh. <laughs> Don't the doors in this bloody place lock? I'll get this one, you get that one. Daphne, it is not too late for us. I meant what I said when I said I would leave her. That's crazy. No, no, it's not crazy. If you feel the same way I do. But I need you to tell me. And I can accept it if the answer is no. How do you feel about me? Pardon. Simon, how did you get in here? Well, uh, Fraser loaned me his key, in a manner of speaking. I have to get some things out of the mini bar. I don't want to get caught empty-handed when last call comes. You're not having a last call of your own in here, are you, Stuart? Of course not. Right. This isn't the chap whose baby you're having, is it? Excuse me? I'm not pregnant! Simon, a bit of bad news. Nigel! Peter's gotten sick to the piano, so we've been asked to vacate the bar. Bloody hell, Daphne! Nice hotel you picked. Well, Nigel, I'm sure Daphne won't mind. We help ourselves to the contents of her mini bar. Where you go. Right. Give us a hand, lads. Nigel! Stephen! 